Hey everybody, this is uh, Coop. Getting ready to play some more games. Uh, it's very late at night, so I'm trying to keep quiet not to wake up my folks. And uh, as you can see, the game I have in front of me here is The Curse of Monkey Island. It's a rather old game, but I've heard a lot of great things about it, especially the music. Uh, it looks really interesting. Uh, I've never really played a point-and-click puzzle game before, um, so this should be new and interesting, but again, because I, I have to be quiet, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play, probably not comment very much, and so uh, I'm just going to shut up and let you guys enjoy it, so here we go. I hope you like it. Captain's Log, Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. Well, my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I had thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Mm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I... Do I have to tell you, LeChuck? I just don't feel that way about you. Elaine? By my congealed blood, you'll learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. Blast me your hair, woman! Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Let's just be friends instead. Ah! 
sit there, Chuck. You're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Darn you riddles, you saucy female! What do you mean? Ah! Oh! You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved. Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, uh, how romantic. Ship ahoy! Threepwood! Fish him out. Guybrush? Guybrush, Threepwood. By my gangrenous gut, I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned. But you won't escape a taste of my blade! <laughs> has spirit -y. Throw him in the hole and I'll finish him after the battle. Turn loose the long boots! And prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball! get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door, well then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! <laughs> Blast ye scurvy dogs! Okay, so I guess I'm playing now. Uh... This'll make you rue the day! <laughs> this is really kind of cool. Avast, you swabs! Prepare for your doom! I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. Move out of the way! I can't fire the cannon with you standing there! Alright. Um... You drink bilge water, and your mother... Great. Take that! Great. What does that mean? Let's see if you can take this! Great. I'll Upgrade, reduce salmon. your fort to rubble! I can't reach it. Ah, I see how this works. I feel like I could Plunder. take on the world! You in the fort! You're There's nobody up there to hear me. Well, nobody friendly anyway. Somehow, mm, they're too heavy to carry. Nice cannonballs. Let's see if we can look through the keyhole. I see a diorama of the children of the world living in peace and freedom. <laughs> no, wait. It can't be that. It's just too dark to make out what's in there. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's grab this. It's all tangled up in all that debris. I can't pick it up. Alright. Well, how about... Uh, take the cannon. Get your hands off that cannon! I don't think I've ever seen a cuter pirate. Stay away! I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Who are you? I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose. The wickedest fiend ever to sail under the banner of King Death. I'd as soon chew your nose off as look at you. Can 
Can I borrow your cannon for a second? No, you scheming scalawag! <laughs> you scrappy scofflaw! You steaming souffle! Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood! Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with the Ship of the Living Dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. You can too. Ask me how. Tell me about these seminars. The seminars really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to be able to say to yourself, yes, I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate, deserving blame and censure, but that pirate is who I want to be. Everyone was really very supportive. We had this great feeling of synergy. Then LeChuck kicked down the door and said, you lazy scum, get back to work or I'll beat you with your own legs. Tell me about these motivational lectures. Well, they weren't lectures as such. It was what LeChuck described as flogging the inner child. Tell me about these audiobooks. To become a pirate, the audio books on parrot are the key. You get a set of 12 parrots, one a month. Return as many as you like, keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just like a pirate. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. Who's a pretty bird? All the phrases a pirate needs to command respect on the high seas. Do you have any literature I could look at? Here. This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. What are LeChuck's plans? He's been working on a secret weapon. Some incredibly powerful cannonball. He's going to use it to blow down the walls of the fort so his crew can overrun the island. What's behind that door? Ooh, that's the door to LeChuck's treasure hold. There's heaps and piles of gold and silver. He's brought all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. LeChuck is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. Hmm. Set me free, Wally. I can't, Mr. Brush. I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose now. And besides, even if you got up on deck, LeChuck would cut you to ribbons. Snap out of it, Wally. That's blood nose to you, you scurvy sea bass. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in. Peep. You scabrous swab. One more word, and I'll let you have it. Word. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. Oh. Ah! <laughs> well, there, there. Ah! <laughs> well, I don't want to disturb him. He's had a hard day. <laughs> I could never untie that big knot. <laughs> I 
I couldn't force that door open with my bare hands. still a mighty pirate, believe you me. and stuff are floating towards the ship. <laughs> well, they've messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> <laughs> Can I call you Bob? You may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom, and the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? All right, then roll. Roll through the gates of hell. <laughs> Must you take the fun out of everything? You're about as fearsome as a doorstop. Is it a really evil-looking doorstop? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you know, you look great with a melting candle on your forehead. I get the feeling you're not taking me very seriously. No, I am, really. Really? Then let me hear you scream in terror. Eek. <laughs> <laughs> Was your mother's father bald, too? I'm not bald. I just have a really high widow's peak. At least now you never have to worry about what to wear. Well, I suppose that's true. And accessorizing is really easy. That's also true. And I look good in hats. There you go. How can you see without eyeballs? How can you walk around without a brain? Some things no one can answer. I'm going now. Good. Now leave me alone. I have a lot of scheming and evil plotting to do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't reach that far. If I could just get my hands on that gunner. If I could just get my hands on here. Ah, well, I guess... It's a horrible skull. I think it would bite me. At least I've lost some weight. There's a strange glow coming from that porthole. Boy. It's a brightly lit porthole. It's another gun bay. Well, I could pass the time by whistling it. And it's... This is so... I can't reach it. Now everybody's going to storm the fort, and I'm going to be stuck here. No. I don't think he'd like that. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, what else is going on in here? 
<laughs> it's all tangled up in all that debris. And the rope is too short and frayed to be of any use. He'd like that. <laughs> I can't use a balloon with that. <laughs> I can't use a balloon with that. <laughs> Scraping a hook on that would be pointless. Wally doesn't need this hook anymore. <laughs> Hooking the rope won't do anything. <laughs> the hook is too big to fit through the grate. <laughs> I can't use a balloon with that. 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 like a ramrod for the cannon. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> it's already loaded and ready to fire. <laughs> That's too big to fit in the keyhole. That doesn't need to be loaded. The ramrod is for the cannon, oh, not I the know. cannonballs. Okay, I'm gonna go use that outside and be able to get this stuff finally. Here we go. That will reach it, but it can't catch hold. Aha! Uh -huh. Combine! A gaff? <laughs> That's my arm. Give that back. Hey. doesn't need cutting. Ah. There we go. Haha! <laughs> Taste cold steel, feeble cannon restraint rope. the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball. I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world. <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. <laughs> Neptune's navel, that was a close one. when the ship capsized. 
Puzzle solved. All right, everyone. I think I'm going to end the first episode here. Uh, this looks really promising. I'm actually really enjoying this, so I look forward to playing this more. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the next episode.